Great game, <laughs> MP. Really well done. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, thank you. Next game, you're back with the starters. Don't lie to me, Coach. Do not lie to me. No cap. <laughs> I see you. I just told the press during my availability. Uh -huh. So why don't you head over there and answer some of their questions and uh, bask in the glory. All right, now, that's not a bad idea there. <laughs> You've earned it. Now go enjoy it. All right, let's do this. Who's first? Oh, is that my man John in the cut back there? Ah, my man, it's always good to see you. What's up? Hey, it's me, man. Great game, MP. Thank you, man. So, Coach Graves just let us know that uh, you're back in the starting lineup. Yeah. First off, did he tell you yet? And if so, how does that feel? Yeah. Yeah, he just let me know, man. And it, that, it feels good. It feels real good. You know, but that's never been my main goal in this league. You know, I just want to contribute to winning basketball. So if that means, you know, playing with the starters or coming off the bench, it don't make a difference to me, man. But I'm in that starting lineup, so I'm hyped. So are you aware of reports that you've been placed back in the starting lineup so they can actually showcase you for a potential trade? Um, no. Uh, that's actually the first time I've actually heard that. Well, let me read this to you. Sources familiar with the organization's thinking have confirmed that there's interest in acquiring Chef Owens in the trade. So how do you feel about that? It's surprising. I mean, you'd literally be swapping someone who's shown he knows how to win in this league for someone who's mostly potential. Uh, well... Not to throw salt on the wound, I'm also hearing that Shep was Othello Afbin's first choice at 18, but Phil Boyer overruled him. <laughs> uh, I mean, if that's true, you know, those things happen. Not everyone's going to evaluate talent the same way heading into the draft. I would just hope that I've done enough since then to show that I belong here and can help build a winning culture for this team. All right, that's it for today. Until the next time, y'all. Okay, I gotta address the elephant in the room. Uh, it's all over the news. What's up with these trade rumors? Are we worried about them? Mm. Worried? What do we have to be worried about? Chef's a star in any city he's mm -hmm. in. Yeah. I am the marquee. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, honestly, it's a little insulting that someone thinks they can trade MP for me, straight mm -hmm. up. Plus draft picks. <laughs> I'm in a class by myself. Man, I'm not even in the class. Mm. I'm floating above the whole class system. Mm. Ooh, don't look down. Oh, wow. Man, y'all look like ants from up here. Mm, red ants. <laughs> it don't matter what color the ants are, Pook. Why you always gotta take it far? I was just riffing. Man, sit down and stay in your lane. How many times did I gotta tell you that? He doesn't like ants. Stay in your lane. Hey, Chip, why don't we get some uh, some picks for yeah, social media, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. Yeah. the show, baby. <laughs> oh, okay. he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. care. Yeah. MP, yeah. Who's the MP? Yeah. Who's the MP? Who's the MP? Yeah. Who's the MP? Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. I'm in the presence right. of greatness right, right now, Stop baby. Stop playing with me. Woo. Okay, um, you guys want to fill me in? Why do I feel like I was blindsided out there? Because you were. Look, but that's okay, all right? It's the last trick Othello's got up his sleeve. Yo, fam, he's really gonna offer three first-round draft picks on top of me. For Shep? I mean, is Phil even gonna sign off on that? It's unclear. Well, there's more support for the trade on social than I would like to see. What does that mean? I'd say it's about a 50-50 split at this point. Good thing social isn't in charge of the roster. Well, I Look, it still wouldn't hurt to fight that battle, so. Okay, but we've already talked about this. We're not gonna fight this fight in the press. I'm not talking press, I'm talking about on the court. Look, Othello put his cards on the table. It's you versus Shep now. Okay, hasn't it always been? Yeah, but never this directly. Look, you've got an opportunity to put this thing to bed once and for all. All you've gotta do is outperform Shep. Boya hasn't pulled the trigger yet, which means he's still not sold. But there's a microscope on you two now. Look, if you go out there and you whoop Shep's behind on the stat sheet, there's no way Phil would trade you. Rick, Look, how could he? Rick, you know I'm not about the stats, man. I've never been about that. Okay. But you are about this city. I, mean, I know you're a team first guy on P, but I don't see anything wrong with calling your number a little more than usual if it's gonna get you to stay. You okay. can't win a ring in this city if Othello trades you. So it's me versus Shep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's you versus Shep, babe. 
And you gotta end this, MP. Once and for all. Come on, man. It was stupid enough for y'all to take me out the lineup. But at least y'all was bright enough to put me back in the lineup. What's good with y'all? Hello, motherfucker. Here we are back with the power forward, a.k.a. Anthony Davis. And I'm not even going to claim Anthony Davis. Whoa! Oh! Okay. Anthony Davis, stay hurt, bro. Like, like that boy, that boy get hurt so frequently. Or so frequent. Come on now, dog. That it, man, I don't even want to speak that into existence, man. He's more like, he, like, he's more like Giannis Antetokounmpo. So we'll just claim that. Because at least Giannis plays. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot to injure that boy. And the thing about it is, Anthony Davis is bigger than Giannis. And Giannis is more durable. You feel me? So shout out to Giannis for being Mr. Do it all just like I did it on that boy. You feel me? But what's good with y'all, man? How y'all been living, man? Hopefully everything is good. Hopefully y'all enjoying the playoffs. The playoffs are in full effect. Hopefully your team's still in the playoffs. I go up, get the and one, and I'm going to the free throw line. Like I was saying, man, hopefully your team is still in the playoffs. My team is the Boston Celtics. Always will be, always have been. Never was a bandwagon. I was rocking with them boys when it was only Paul Pierce, Tony Delt, but T. You know what I'm saying? Back in those days, well, I'm telling you, I'm giving y'all the game, bro. I was really a fan of them boys. Them boys was trash in the mid to early 2000s, and I was still rocking with them. I had them. My first jersey that I ever bought with my own money was a Paul Pierce jersey. No cap, no kizzy, bro. So you know I'm going to ride with them now that they doing their thing. And, you know, the rest of the teams, man, salute to them. The Lakers, the Warriors. You know, the 70s, that's cool, Holy too. Shit. You, you got also Phoenix. And who Phoenix playing? Oh, yeah, Denver, man. Let me not forget about Denver before but some of y'all get on my heels because I know some of y'all are well, Jokic fans, you feel me? As I go with the dunk, nobody was guarding your boy, so I just got through to the line. But, man, we having a great season. I'm enjoying playing with the power forward because the power forward has speed. To get around the center don't really have that much speed but i do still have the center cracking in the background i'm gonna bring that back but right now i'm just trying to solidify this character because i want him to do certain things that the power I mean, not the power forward, but the center can't do you know certain things that the center can't do this person can as i get a block but we know for a fact that he can do both yes sir play defense and offense man he is a two-way player it's just something about seeing the word two, I mean, the word two way as I get a block. It's something about seeing the word two play instead of just a paint beast or a rebound and interior, you know, stuff like that, man. I want him to be more than that as I get a dunk and we looking for more of that. You feel me? No. Yeah, man. We are still on the winning streak and we are on the toughest difficulty if you didn't know. We just smacking niggas. Oh! You know what I'm saying? We just smacking teams. And this team is very good on the three. We got Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill's three is a 91, bro. Why do you say it to me, bro? So when they start to double me, because my post is legit. You know what I'm saying? My strength turned up, so that's why I can get this animation where I turn in and they look like he's stumbling because my strength turned up and my post almost turned up. And he should have took the three, man, but I don't expect too much for them. But also, we in them throwbacks. You feel me? The throwback pacer joints. I like these kids, great boys. It reminds me of the Malice at the Palace. Let's not talk about that. But I remember watching that game, bro. I swear to you. I swear I watched that game live. I was a young kid. My mom had just got off of work, too, right as the end of it was happening. I was like, yo, it was a fight, man. It was crazy. They were in the stands. I remember watching that live, bro. I swear to you. I saw that game live. And I was, I was shocked, bro. I was really, really, really shocked, man. And I really liked the Pacers back then because Jermaine O'Neal was my favorite player at that time. Like him, Tracy McGrady, Sean Marion, those are my favorite players during that time period because I, I just like the way Jermaine O'Neal played the game. And I was just so shocked that them boys were suspended for the whole season damn near, bro. Like they had a legit opportunity to win the championship that year. Like they were complete. Like Ron Artest was doing his thing. They had Steven Jack off the bench. Well, he wasn't really off the bench, was he? He probably was off the bench. No, 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 no. He wasn't off the he wasn't starting. He was off the bench. Because I believe it was Jamal Timsley, Reggie Miller, 
Ron Artest, Al Horford, Jermaine O'Neal, and then like Jeff Foster. So it, I don't think he was starting. But that that team, bro, that team was really solid. It's just a shame that you know that year was forfeited due to the malice at the palace, man. And then right after that, Reggie Miller retired. And Ron Artest went to go do his own thing as he gets fouled. He's going to the line. Shout out to Rudy Gay. I like Rudy Gay too. He's from UConn. Shout out to UConn. They just won a national championship, and that's my favorite basketball college team. My favorite football college team is LSU. And if you didn't know the, the, the pattern here, Massachusetts, Louisiana, that was the two places that are near and dear to me. You know what I'm saying? I spent a lot of time in both of those places. I'm from Louisiana, but I was born in Massachusetts. My grandma lived in Massachusetts, so of course I spent a lot of time up there. So, you know, UConn, Connecticut, Massachusetts next door to each other. Boston Celtics, Boston Red Sox, New Orleans Saints, LSU, uh, the Pelicans. So, you know, I, all my teams are based off of those two locations. As I'm telling you all my life story. 32 points, 1 assist, 10 Rihanna's, 67% shooting for your boy. Not the best or what normally we would get with the percentage, but it's still pretty high, bro. It's a still, in real life, if somebody was shooting 67%, man, Mr. Field Goal percentage is real. And I'm on the block and he's too little and I'm going to go in with the dunk, man. You can't stop me. What Mr. Who said, you can't stop us, so don't try. Man, I need to go ahead and be quiet, bro. I'm going to go ahead and ask for it on the post and they got that boy Lori on me. And I'm going to go ahead and twist in. And he follows me, but I do that lame-ass layup. Fading layup, man. I hate that layup, man. They need to take that off the game because I missed the majority of my shots on that animation, bro. I missed the majority of my shots on that animation. 36 points, 1 assist, 12 Rihanna's, 68% shooter. Now we're up by 1% on that field goal percentage and you know we gonna do it man i want to win it all man mr field goal percentage mvp defensive player of the year rookie of the year i want it all brand new socks and draws as they give that boy lori lori kick is out and he gets he tips it and get the rebound whoa come on man we supposed to block out better than that that boy rudy sets the pick rudy and then he gets it smacked off the backboard stop playing with me man don't y'all realize I'm I'm trying to get defensive play the years I come in with the tomahawk. Look, man, we about to do it all. We going for the trifecta. And the thing about it is we going for the trifecta. And I'm about to lead this team next year. around in Indiana? Nah, man, I'm going to get my ring. I'm going to get the MVP award. And I'm dead man. As I get a dunk, man, I'm going to probably go back to – I'm, I'm not going to go back to, but I'm going to go to Orlando probably. Because that's the team I just like to play for, man. I just love their throwbacks. I'm probably going to go to Orlando, even though they got Paolo. Paolo, you know what I'm saying? As I stand up and play defense and they miss the shot. 40 points, one assist, 14 reads, 71% shooting. And we're slowly but surely bringing that percentage up. We are up by 27 at the half. So, you know, it's it's starting to look like a blowout for us. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to look like a blowout, a blowout for the other team. And all I'm looking to do is just keep the gas. or Keep the foot on the pedal so we can continue to win games and continue to move through the season. And the thing is, even with our undefeated record, we are only, as I get the lay in, six games in first. And that's, you know, somebody might say six games, but I gotta think about it. Six games is a pretty decent amount. But that just shows you if we lose six games, we're no longer in first place. And we're undefeated at this point. So, you know, it is what it is. And one thing that I also was looking into, because I'm starting to do side quests, is the, as I get a rebound and get the lay back in, the endorsements. I've been sleeping on my endorsements. I got a few that I need to go ahead and look through. As I shoot it out to my boy, and he shoots it out towards the rim, and that don't make no sense, but shout out to TJ McConnell for the three, bro. He gets me another assist. And I'm going to go ahead and try to call for it. And I know they're going to try to double me, and I'm going to go ahead and try to hit the O-out open guy. But they're going to... Oh, they're... they're, they're uh, that just makes me really mad, bro. It makes me mad. That's why I got this little technical, because I was just swung at the ball. But that makes me really mad, the fact that when I get double, instead of spreading the floor, like, the wide open player scoots over to where the defender and another teammate is. So now the defender can defend on two people at one time. Like, he's close enough to defend both players. When all they have to do is just stay where they're at. I don't know if that's some type of 2K coding as I cherry pick and I get the lay in. That's how I feel about 2K, man. Forget, I don't care nothing about respect. 
I don't care, bro. We are doing 2K dirty. As I get fouled and go to the free throw line, I knock down the first one, and then I come in with the second one, and I make both of them. Trying to get that free throw percentage up. And I'm going to go ahead and try to set a pick, and hopefully we can roll to the basket. We do roll, and Rudy Gay's all over me, but it's not enough to stop me from making points. Man, and look at me. I'm just getting points, bro. At this point, I'm just trying to just say 2KF you because you're cheap. I have no respect, no respect for TK. Not in my house. Being a sportsman as I get another block. We running a score up. We score, if it's one second on the clock, we gonna score or look to score at one second. And it's looking like they finna take me out for the rest of the game and they do. We win by 46 of them things, man. And we continue to get our role on, man. We continue to win games. And I, I like I said, man, this is probably the best team that I've chosen. To roll with on the my career my player mode bro like this team is like they got a competent point guard you know ty Bulis is an all-star in real life like in real life he's almost like a 90 overall in the game so hey why not we got a competent center all right we, we got buddy hill who can shoot the three you know what i'm saying so why not roll with this team and let's take a look at the final stats 56 17 three with four blocks on 73 percent shooting that boy was absolutely balling 